Hi guys, it's Alex and Olivia and we have teamed up with The Kennel Club. We're going to be talking about our little Reggie story in the hopes that we can help you guys and just make you a little bit more informed if you are thinking about getting a Frenchie. We was always a family who absolutely loved dogs, but my mum, I remember when I was going to get my first dog, I was never allowed to have one unless I did a full load of research. It was drummed into me that you had to look. For me, it was because they are adorable. I wanted a dog with a big personality. I like when they can be quite naughty. I like when they can be quite stubborn, and I think that was it for us. So after we decided um, what breed we were going for, I can't remember how we found the breeder. I think we had a recommendation. And then we went to her home, visited the home, saw the dogs there. She just loved them, didn't she? Yeah, we went to visit every two weeks. So it was nice to see the process of where mm. uh, Reggie was growing. So. Yeah, there was no way we were going to miss a moment. And obviously you, you can't take a dog home too early. So we were like, we have to go and visit him like, as much as we can. Yeah. And she definitely took the time out of her day to let us go and see him and visit him. She asked us quite a lot of questions yeah. as well, like what work we do and uh, how much we'd be with the dogs and yeah, stuff. So she was very, she home. was a caring breeder, mm. wasn't she? She did tell us about the problems that French Bulldogs have and like the awareness mm. of like the breathing problems, but she didn't really go into much detail with it. So when we brought Reggie home, uh, and obviously as the couple of years went on, he started to grow up a little bit, mm. uh, his breathing did get considerably worse, didn't it? And then we sort of looked online and we researched into the sick, the sickiness, and people kind of just said, oh no, that happens within the breed. So. We were a bit worried about it, but then just... You just kind of palm it off, didn't yeah. you? Because like, you think all French Bulldogs get it. You could just hear how he was struggling to breathe yeah. and walk, and it just became apparent that it was no longer enjoyable for him to even go on a walk, and we were scared to take him out for walks, so that's when we decided, right, we need to get to the vets. Yeah. So when we got to the vet, he, he, he kind of did just say, oh yeah, Frenchies do breathe like this, this is what they sound like, you know, it's common. We knew that it got drastically worse and it, it wouldn't have just been Reggie, like it's a normal French Bulldog thing to yeah. do, so. I think you know your own dog and you have to like, trust your instinct as well. Yeah. Um, so we did, we did push him towards referring us to a specialist and then that's what he did in the end. We just thought it was going to be like a little checkup, just mm. to see like oh, he might need surgery in the future. And then he ended up needing like three surgeries in one. I just remember going in there, <laughs> expecting to have a meeting, then yeah, expecting to have him surgery maybe a few months later, but they needed to get him in the day after. That's how bad it was. Yeah, so then he stayed overnight, I think for two nights. Um, and then he came home and he, oh, he came home and I thought he looked really different. He had his nostrils widened, so he just looked slightly different, didn't he? And it yeah. really freaked me out. Um, Even I think, the little bandage around his yeah. paw just made you sad. He just looked so, he was, so um, He was really out of it because obviously of like the anaesthetic and things. Yeah. Um, but the recovery was fine. It was obviously hard to watch him and he had little stitches in his nose. So it's obviously hard to see, Yeah. but he was fine in the end. It's just, if you can avoid going through it, you would. All right, so as you can see, this is Winnie, and all the problems that we had with Reggie uh, didn't stop us from getting another one, so. Yeah, I don't think anything could put us off the breed. Um, I think it just taught us to look differently, and I think we noticed different things. Her head shape's different, um, even just a simple thing, like when we went to see her and when we went to see the breeder, it wasn't noisy, and that's what we listened out for because that was something we experienced with Reggie. We then listened out for it. Okay, so that was Reggie's journey. Um, now, if you are looking to get a Frenchie, we've got a few top tips to help you. My first tip to you guys would be to find a breeder that has had the parents of the puppies you're going for um, health checked for their breathing. It's now a new scheme that the Kennel Club do. Okay, so tip two would be to make sure when you go to the breeder for the first time, you do see the mom and how she interacts with the puppies and how their breathing is uh, with the puppies as well. Yeah, you can literally just listen out for it. Um, and also you can check on the shape of them, their head shape, little things like that. And finally, most importantly, make sure the breed is right for you. Check the breed out, research it, talk to friends, talk to family, talk to people that know what they're talking about in the first place. And if you do go and see a breeder and something doesn't seem right, just walk away. And for more information, check out the Kennel Club's website.